Hey YouTube, Cyber Aquarius coming to you with an update video on my 25 gallon Fusion Lagoon Reef Aquarium. It's been about a month since my last video, but a lot has happened since then, so I'm going to bring you all up to speed. Over the course of a few weeks, I visited five local fish stores. They're not really local. The closest one to me is a two and a half hour round trip. I was unable to find the corals or the fish that I was looking for, so I decided to turn to Vivid Aquariums on the internet. Most of you guys know who they are. I'm gonna post a link to their site below so you can go check them out. I've placed two orders with them so far, and let me say that they've been fantastic to deal with. So over the course of this video, I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up. This is a shot of my tank with the Kessel A360 Blues turned all the way down and the wave makers off, just so you guys can get an idea of the colors of the corals. Well, in my first order, I ordered a high fin red banded goby. They're known to be jumpers, so I had to modify my lid. This is PS Enzolite. It's used for sound deadening material and car audio systems. Well, I put it all the way around the rim of my screen top lid to minimize the gap, hoping that the fish wouldn't jump out. So if you can see here, the gap is very minimal. I mean, you couldn't fit the head of a, a ballpoint pen through here, so I thought this would be good. Well, needless to say, I was wrong. My first attempt at this fish was a failure. I came home from work and he was laying on the floor. So you know what they say, if you don't succeed, try again. I placed another layer of the PS Enzolite over the first. I had to make gaps for the clips as well as the cords for my wave makers. Now this time, I think I got it. This thing fits on here so tight that I had to add this zip tie just so that I can remove the screen. It fits like a lid on a cooler. It's very snug. Check it out. I mean, you, you couldn't even fit a playing card between the rim of the aquarium and the screen. I mean, it's, it's super tight all the way around. If the fish decides to jump through one of the squares, I mean, there's nothing I can do about that, but he's definitely not gonna get out through the rim. All right, this is the second high fin red banded goby. This is about an hour or two after acclimation being in the tank. He's hiding underneath my pink hammer coral that I also got from Vivid Aquariums. And after a few hours, he's out and about. The scientific name of this fish is a Stenogo biops nematodes. They pair up with pistol shrimp for a symbiotic mutual relationship and they reach a maximum size of two inches. So this little guy was a perfect candidate for my nano reef aquarium. This guy's been feeding on copepods all night long. Speaking of copepods, I came home from work the day after my first shipment and there was just an explosion of copepods. These aren't micro bubbles, guys. My skimmer broke in over a month ago. These came in on my first batch of corals. I've dipped every coral that's been added to this system, even the ones that came out of my 38, such as this Australian torch coral but hey, they managed to survive and they are all throughout the tank. I finally went ahead and fragged off the two dead heads from this torch coral. This shot here is my golden hammer coral from Vivid Aquariums. I had to give away one of my pajama cardinals. Pajama cardinals are supposed to be peaceful, but this guy just chased the other one around nonstop. I mean, he was relentless. So I ended up giving him to a buddy of mine that used to work at Blue Planet Aquariums. I know that fish will have a much better life in his aquarium than in this one. I moved my green bubble coral up to the front because it's a lower profile coral than my euphilias. And this is the only coral in the tank that I target feed. Once a week, I give each head a little piece of LRS Reef Frenzy and it readily accepts it. Sends out sweeper tentacles all the time and this thing blows up huge in the evening just before the lights turn off. You'll see a sweeper tentacle here in just a second on the left side. I can move it out of the way just a little bit more so that it doesn't sting my recordia on the left. I still have plenty of room in the front to move it. Yeah, that little stinger tentacle packs a powerful punch. You don't want to touch another corals.
Vivid Aquariums even threw in a couple frags for free. This is a green bird's nest. And this is a chalice. Vivid's Firefighter Echinophilia. My current dosing schedule is 5 milliliters of Aquavitro's 8-4 every morning and 2.15 milliliters of Aquavitro's calcification in the evenings. My calcium always ranges between 415 to 420. Alkalinity is at 3.19 milliequivalents per liter or 8.9 degrees carbonate hardness. I do a three gallon water change once a week with Aquavitro salinity. And I know my corals are gonna grow and the demands will be higher. So I'm gonna test once a week and adjust accordingly. Over the next few months, I'm gonna be adding a few more fish and I'm gonna add corals slowly over the course of a year. Guys, I really appreciate you watching the video. Just stay tuned for more updates on this tank as well as updates on the 38 gallon. Thanks for watching.